I'm here just to, with another tutorial. This is a tutorial uh, about how to adjust your levels in your pictures, and it's pretty simple. Okay, and I hope uh, you understand me. I mean, okay. So let's start just by I have this picture that is not bad at all. But well, we are going to try to adjust the levels. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is just to duplicate your layer. Okay, and then this, this is just to protect the original, right? So you can uh, undo all the things or modifications you do. Well, after that, we go here to colors and we are going to use this point. Okay, that is the threshold. Okay, well, in Spanish is umbral. And then first we need to find the darkest point okay so we're going to use just by moving these sliders the black slider up to the left okay to the left and then we start moving the white one until almost all these little white dots disappear then just find the spot and you zoom in okay using here the keyboard Zoom, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and then you have here this thing, and more and more and more, and that's all. Okay, so here it's a black area. Okay, well, I found this area, so I just cancel, go again to colors, and then I go to levels, and I remember that it was here my uh, dark point, so I just select here. This I tool the dropper, okay, and select this and accept, and that's it. So I have adjusted just the the black ones, okay. Then maybe it is not very. Oh, that is a little bit. You can notice this thing, okay. Now we're going to find the white point, okay. So we're going to do the same, just uh, the opposite side, moving the slider. Okay, so go here first, use the threshold, just to find this, and we move it to the opposite side. Uh, so I have here now some white points that are really white. So I move it a little bit, with the mouse, and here this is in a white area, so I just cancel. So, and I will select uh, again levels and I go for the white and I will pick this one. So let's check if this is not very dramatic. So, there you go. So let's check. Yes, yeah, a little bit. And then we need to find the gray, okay, the middle point, so the midpoint. So to do this is a little bit different, so we will do this. So we will create, well, first let's go here to the front power color and we'll select here like intermediate gray, that is 128, 128, and 128. That's it. Then we will go here uh, to do to create a new layer and we will fill it with this gray color okay so then here here you need to modify here the transparency mode you just move it to difference and that's it you have this kind of weird look so here over the gray layer okay let's select the, me the menu right click and then we select uh, new from the visible and then we can just delete this one okay or just hide it like me okay so now you have this this layer and in here we are going to do now as we do uh, as we did with um, with the black with the black uh, points okay so we go first to a threshold we move the slider to the left and then the white one and we will find some gray points over here 
so we zoom in with the plus key with the plus key the keyboard of the shortcut whatever you wanna call it that's it so that's it so just remember I move it a little bit so this area it's the great part now you cancel and remember this is the area right so we hide and this is the great point I need so I select this is very important you need to select the layer that we are modifying or adjusting the colors and then we go again for the levels and you select the great point select it accept and that's it now we just ah oh, sorry sorry we just zoom out um, well you have adjusted your levels manually sometimes it is not working very nicely but I guess for most of the pictures you will have a very nice result so this is with the adjusted uh, levels and without them so and you can modify saturation and these things but I guess it looks it's good okay the white ones so what do you think well that's all I hope you enjoyed this um, this fast tutorial I hope uh, you have any doubts or things okay please comment and thanks for watching see you next time